Welcome back. Shut up. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome, Welcome back. back to Only Fee Hands with Karen Feehan. Um Karen Elizabeth Feehan and my trusty co host Jared Elizabeth Schwartz. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling really loose this week. Really fancy free and joyful, you know? Yeah, I've been chilling. I feel like my strings aren't even. We we forgot to get our topics. Yeah, we were going to write down some. I was like, let's just fucking write down some And then some Karen was like, I'm on my period. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> how big my boobs are. They're big, but it's such a waste because I'm like also like bloated. Like my uterus is like shedding its lining or whatever. It's pretty hot. Pat told me to step back. Why is my cottage? This is the area of my yeah. legs that the guys like right here. The tiger stripes? Not so much here. I, don't, I barely have yeah. tiger stripes. Bare, barely. Like you have to like smush it. Smush it. it. And there's nothing wrong with a little fucking cellulite. They love it when you smush it. They like, <laughs> the guys like it. You yeah. like The big, guys like big, me. Oh, wait. Speaking of guys you who like You like big me. boobs because you're still a juvenile. No, I, saw, I like big butt now. Mm. Well, the thing is, because like, I think I've discussed this on the pod. Boobs are God-given. Asses are too. But, butts are made. No, they're genetic. No, they My are too. My mom had a fat but, ass. Uh, do speaking shit. of guys you're who incorrect. like me. What? I have to shout this guy out. I said I would. Why? No. Bleep it. Start bleeping now, Pat. Bleep. Hey. No shout outs shout for out Garrett. To, shout out to Rich. Rich is my dad's name, so we can give it to him. All right. We'll give it to you, Rich. He said. In my family, we call him Big Dick. Says, <laughs> big Dick Dick? Big. That's Big Dick Square to you. No, Big Dick Feehan. Why would it be Big Dick Dick? Well, Big Dick Dick. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually a joke from one of my cartoons. Speaking of my cartoons, we put out another one this week with special guest Napoleon Emile. Uh, he is, you know. He's got a great voice. He's got a great voice. He really helped us in the writer's room. It was so fun working with him. Uh, the, the He just referred to, like, his 30 Seconds cartoon as having a writer's room. I'm sure everybody who writes at, like, The Daily Show and I've been working on how, any how, late night TV show is like, yeah, yeah. We writer's room it was uh, yeah we just call it my my boy's kitchen <laughs> i know it's like <laughs> I'm a writer, man. oh yeah you're not smoking just yeah me. i haven't been doing a lot of things like being creative i wrote some new stuff i wrote a one new joke that's kind of mean um but then it kind of mean yeah you never have any mean jokes mm, i know but this one's like me. Are you gonna tell it or are you gonna make them come mm. out to your next show? Yeah, you gotta come out it. because I'm never gonna tweet it. I'll never say it. Like at certain shows, I'll only do it at some shows. Please come out to Mama's Boy Comedy. We miss you guys. Where have you been all summer? Who you're speaking to? <laughs> an audience on <laughs> point. That's so sad. <laughs> uh, no, Mama's Boy shows have been going pretty good. Uh, we, we're at Rockwood Music Hall, but by the time this comes out, we'll be at the stand this week. Come check us out. Uh, we're there in September again. Very excited. We we renew. We signed Elise again at the stand uh, for bi-weekly Thursdays. Uh, you signed the lease. Was, yeah, that was, that was just a joke. You didn't. I've been working on this new joke. I'll tell it because I'm not afraid. I want people to answer. I want people. To, I want people to give me. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Jay. No, I was just talking about how uh, I've been in a real funk lately and uh, haven't been able to make much conversation. And I think it's because of this new, uh, this new theory I've been trying out of thinking before I speak. This is, like, the fifth time that, like, I didn't we workshop this joke? On yeah, like, like, in the car. In the car, and that wasn't it. That nope. was, was that it? That was it. But then we workshopped the, the example that you have to come and find what the example is uh, at yeah. my shows. <laughs> a real hard sell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you know, we workshopped it on the way back from Poughkeepsie. Those shows were great with Rich Voss. <clears throat> no, they weren't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was great. Rich Voss was great. Everybody just like couldn't get enough of him. Jared was annoying. He needs a lesson in humility, and his instincts are just wrong. Why do you say that? Um, the things I've been humiliated. I just don't. It's not about being have humiliated. Have feeling to it. It's not about being humiliated. It's like 
when you walk in and you're like the host, it's kind of like, hey, you know, the first like stuff out of your mouth should be like, thanks for having me. This is great opportunity for me. It's really I don't deserve it yet. It's like a little early for me to be getting this. I've probably. totally said that, and he's like, "Why are you thanking me? I didn't want you here." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, say that to the booker, to the. Owner. I totally said that too. I don't know. You just like didn't make a great impression. Really? Is that what they told and, you? And like Pat also was supposed to be there filming us, and he dropped the ball as well. So. I just sometimes, you know, I know we all like joke here about how I'm the only one who's like doing anything, but you're humiliating me at road gigs and you're not even showing up to do like the bare minimum. Right, can we turn this back into being funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are these all jokes? No, this is real. This is a meeting because I don't want to waste time not on the podcast, like half an hour before or after the podcast. So this is the meeting. Get better. Work harder. Understood. Thank I got you. it. All right. Back to the pod. Only fans back in business as if they were going to stop sluts. You can't stop sluts. <laughs> we're everywhere. They I think seem to stop when I'm around them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they stop. They drop. They roll. <laughs> they try to get away from you. <laughs> no, I mean, I just think it's so funny that anybody... I think it's very bizarre for anyone to sort of have like a self-righteous... Um, holier than thou moralistic sort of view moralistic I don't think that's a word of fucking you know adult consenting like sex stuff it's these banks they run the world right? get a get a life though and I guarantee you every like fucking oh no 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 Jesus clutching my pearls like right. man or woman is fucking cats in their closet mm. they're ripping off hamsters legs and shoving them up their assholes they're fucking freaks that's really graphic I don't care. I'm telling you, that's how weird they are. Right. That, you know, because there's no, there's no other explanation for it. Because it, it really doesn't affect your life at all. Because you can just be like, I don't want to look at that. Don't, don't look at it. it. Right. For you to be like, hey, 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 nobody should be looking at this. Like, fuck you. For, first of all, you think you're going to get rid of sluts? No way. Second of all, you think you're going to tell men that they can't use their own stupid money to watch dumb sluts bend over? I don't think so. They love doing that. You probably not yet, but you even as a young man probably like doing it a little. Paying for it's, it. It's a more older man's game or a certain you know type of man's whatever. I love you guys. I mean, the I don't point really have is, the money for that. <laughs> I just think it's wild. I just find it so interesting, and I wonder how it's going to unfold. You know, in the future, like I feel like this shit's gonna keep happening. Yeah, there was never a doubt on this side of town for us. I mean, for you. Well, the truth is I don't really make, like, porn porn on there, right? It's right. more of, like, a moving image. I'm more of an art dealer than a sex worker. But <laughs> I still completely empathize with, you know, people who are doing whatever the fuck they want to do on there. Who gives a shit? Why shouldn't you be able to do whatever you want to do on there? You're making content. People are watching it. Can we talk about all the mass shootings? Fucking OnlyFans has probably stopped this year. Let's throw up that number. Incel has an orgasm. Incel doesn't shoot up a bank. Maybe they should be shooting up the banks because those are the ones who are trying to stop us. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you have going on this week, Karen? Uh, I did the Real Ass Podcast on Monday, which was super fun. Except that for cr- That was a crew you had there. Except for Mark Random. <laughs> no, he's fine. Mark Random. I Does he have more humility than me? No, he has also, like, a severe learning disability and, like, um, you know, social dysfunction and stuff like that. There's a lot of... Uh, there's nothing wrong it's with... a lot men- of comedy. Well, yeah. And there's nothing wrong... Obviously, no shame to, like, mental illness. But there's certainly a lot of people in comedy who have behavioral problems that, you know, we're all sort of just supposed to be like, oh, like, whatever. And, like, my instinct is to be like, are you in therapy? Are you on medication? Do you have a plan? Are you earning money? Like, you know what I yeah. mean? Thank you for helping me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's just, that's just what I ask Jared every morning. He wakes up to that text. <laughs> Are you earning money? Are you safe? You Are you holding anything day, sharp? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Oh, be. you came in real sad. Did he came you know, in sad. You know, that's the thing. Like, I well, can't just not talk for a bit. 
Is that right? If I just don't want to talk? Oh, no. I mean, like, like, when you did talk, you were like, I'm real sad. No, I didn't say that. I had a pretty good day. I went golfing at 6 a.m. I sent out some emails for job opportunities at schools when they open back up. Uh, To clean up? To what? Nothing. Yeah, well. To clean the schools? I didn't hear that one again. Uh, my ears got my listening's got to get better too. That's been a big problem. Yes. In more ways than one, like listening to you right here, right now, <coughs> and also listening and soaking things in. You know what I mean? Are you ever gonna? Go, are you guys ever gonna come swim in the pool before the summer's over? Doesn't seem that way. I mean, it has been an open invite all summer. Yeah, but I mean, you just have to schedule yourselves. Right. That's the thing. Like, I don't even know where you I'm at now. You could be like, hey, Karen, why don't we do the podcast early someday? We'll do like a nooner and then go chill in the pool in the afternoon. And then you guys can be on your way. I don't know what we're doing. I know. I suddenly I'm like, how can I make it so that I'm not there, though? I don't want <laughs> to be there. Karen, what's gotten into you? Why are you so nice? I don't want to be there. Oh, I've just like, you know, my romantic life isn't going exactly how I'd like it to be. Me either. But but, but I'd rather hear about yours. Yeah, but I don't agree. I don't believe you, and it's not fair because I just said Jared's sad, and you're like, no, I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, oh, well, I'm kind of sad. Me too. You know, it, it, it's like, fuck you. Either take the sad story or let me have it. I gave it to you. I was just like, hey, I, I empathize with you. No, I am getting attention from one really cute boy who's like really cute. Where is he from? It doesn't matter. But um, then I'm not getting attention, you know, from a couple of people that I wish I was. But that's just part of life. And you have to just focus on yourself. That's why I've been writing more jokes, getting more vitamin drips, crushed workout class yesterday called Strong, No Cardio, Just Weightlifting. And today I did my own workout. I worked out Even though I have my period. And we're talking like day one, day one and a half, day two, not even. It actually hasn't even started yet. Uterus shredded, you're getting shredded. I like that one. That was a good one. It does make your cramps better. My Uh, friend, um, Tiana, I haven't seen her in a long time. She got mad at me. She texted me. She's like, my cramps are so bad. I was like, do sit-ups. She was like, fuck you. I was like, I'm telling you. I mean, it sucks while you're doing them. But like after, and then you stretch it out. Get shit moving. Oh, sorry. Oh my God! You just hit Ernest. <laughs> Ernest, come over here, boy. I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep you safe. Don't say anything. <laughs> They'll take you away from me. How's our, how would Ernest do on OnlyFans? Ernest ruins every OnlyFans video. They all know. <laughs> they all know that. The second they definitely reply about him, right? Yeah. The second that it's like about to get hot, you hear. Little Ernest feet coming. <laughs> hey, Bob. Yeah, but you should frame it. Be like. You should you should caption it like someone's trying to get in. That could be you. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> that could be pretty funny. Right here, Pat, will you like make a graphic that's like a boxing glove punching Jared? No, um, whatever, yeah. Sometimes uh Ernest is mentioned, but it's funny, you know, you gotta wonder like what's going through his head. He's like, Hey mom. <laughs> You gotta, I think you got to break the vibrator out. Is this why I didn't get my organic treats last week? Because you're just doing this? He's cute. He's the best song that's ever lived. He has to go out. We're going to go for a walk after this. And then I'm going to be on my way to Stand Up New York. And then I'm doing a spot at the Ludlow House, which is a really hip, what time is cool that? show. I don't know. It's like top secret. Only people that belong to there go to it. Oh, it's oh, so hip. Oh, it's so hip. One? It gives me the chills. It's so hip. Who shows it? None of your fucking tell? business, Jared. Some things are just for me. All right. I was going to a show at 10 o'clock anyway. Dude, shout out to Derek Gaines who came out to me and was like genuinely worried about the OnlyFans thing. I know. He's like, listen, so I don't give a fuck about most of those sluts. But Karen, I was like, oh my Karen, I hope she's okay. I hope she does her health. I hope this doesn't affect her. Wait, what was that line he said about you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that line when he was like, yeah, you know, I was into you for a minute, Karen, but then I heard you get with some whack dudes. I was like, yeah, fuck he that. He didn't say whack dudes. He said goofy N words. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I paraphrased it. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I love Derek so much. Oh my God, who Monroe Martin? I drove him home the other day. Dying again. Drove him to the. I drove him to the cellar. I drove Derek to the cellar. And shut I'll, up, Jared. I was like, oh, you got a spot? He's like, no, nah, I'm just going to hang out with my boys. I was like, so I'm oh just. Oh my God, you know who I should have fucking asked to do the podcast? Derek I'll get Gaines. him for next week. Well, obviously we got up Derek. Derek, I don't like to bother. I know he's busy. He's like. He's, he's a movie star. He's a movie star. Someone else who's not is Mike Racine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I should have hit him up. He's available at all times. No, <laughs> but he's very funny. Way funnier than you. It would be a great episode. He'd be so mean to you. It would be great. Can I bring my friend? Can up? you remind me? Hey, I'm in like, I should book Stavros too. I feel like he's on Stavros, the road. Stavros, yeah, he's on the road. Uh, can you, uh, are, you're doing my show on Staten Island, right? When? On the 17th. It should be in your calendar. Oh, okay. We're going to do the podcast there that night, that day. We are? Yeah. Oh, we're also going to be screening. You're on the Fitborough Comedy Festival or no? The what? No. The what comedy festival? You could, No, no, you're not on it. I'm well, you're on, on my it? show. You're on my show. Yeah. What yeah, the you're fuck on. are you talking yeah, about? Sorry. You're on it. You're on it. I meant like, are you in it? No in mind. what? You're doing, the, you're doing my show. <sighs> what is he talking about? Festival. What festival? Fifth bro? Fifth borough. Fifth borough. Fifth borough. Yeah. So you submitted your show to that and you got in? No, they asked me if I wanted my show to do it. Oh, wow, that's great. And I was like, sure. Congrats. Yeah. And you're, you're, like, you're the, you're kind of like the, um, how do I put it? King of Staten Island. Can you do the punching thing again? <laughs> yeah, those are my boys. Uh, one, one day I'll so, meet. So, Pat, can you put part of the Fifth Borough Comedy Festival like under my name for the rest of this episode? <laughs> put the logo. I'll send you the logo. Be like a feature act of the Fifth Borough Comedy Festival. Saifa's in it. I think Derek Gaines is in it. Big dogs. Big dogs. Are we all taking the Micro- ferry together? Micro scenes in it. Shut up. I swear to God. That's my guy. It's pretty good. His the, baby's fucking should cute. I, have, I, should have Derek, I should have Derek do my show. Pretty sure he's in it. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll swindle that in. All right. This and then that's when we'll have. To, oh, actually, shit. We have someone else booked for that day. We got to reschedule. Stop acting like you're stupid fucking. Can you get my phone? Yeah. Staten Island on. show is more important than anything I do. I'm right. the show. You're right. You're right. Did the Chip Chipperson podcast this week in studio. First time I've been in back in studio since the pandemic. Really emotional. When are you doing You Know What, dude? Monday. I heard. How'd you hear? I got my ear of the streets. First time. Is it? Yes. That's exciting. Um, when I was dating Lewis, they asked us to come on as a couple, but it was during towards the end of our relationship mm. when we were fighting. Um, and you were the one who took it to the chin. Oh, always. Yeah, Lewis did the show. <laughs> Is this comeback? Bobby Kelly on Torgasm was very funny. Yeah? Yeah, have you ever seen that? Torgasm? Yep. With Dane Cook? Yes, Bobby Kelly's extremely funny. Very funny. He reminds me a lot of my dad. Can you get him for Mama's Boy for me? No. No. Okay. No. There's a humility. No! <laughs> How have I been doing so far? Mm, like a B minus. All right. I'll That's work on it. That's not good. Hey, I, I... Achieve better. I mean, yeah, I, I want to. I I think I thrive too. But uh, you know, in school, I was like a C student. I was a hot guy at the pool today. Hot guy. Describe him. Just like all American, like Ken doll kind of hot guy. Like maybe a quarterback. More shredded than me. I'm pretty sure. <sighs> yeah. Yes. Should I show the Should I show the viewers how shredded I am? Nah, it's for the Patreon. I lost five pounds. Did I, did I mention that last week? But then there was also like six like absolute units, like hot girls with like oh. fat asses and like Jewish girls. With oh, big tits. oh, we're coming to the pool next week. The numbers were like not in my favor. I'll put it that way. Mm. I get some looks though. I do all right at the pool, you know. Have you, have you spoke to anyone at the pool all summer? No, nah, you know I I bring my headphones. I keep to myself. Nah, I don't make eye say. contact. Right. This guy was trying the other day. He was pretty cute, too. He was like, can't beat this weather, right? Uh, that's a good opening line, right? He was nice. Cute, too. Good body. Good for him. I, uh, 
I was going to pick up this girl at a comedy show, or I attempted to pick up this girl, talk to this girl at a comedy show the other day, and I got advice from someone. It was someone. me, and I was like, <laughs> and I ran away. I was like, what's and, over there? And this girl was like, uh, <coughs> this f- comedian friend was like, you know what you got to do? You got to go up to her, tell her she's pretty, and then walk away. Ugh, he's right. Is he cute? She. Your friend, a girlfriend gave you this advice? Yeah. Really smart. She's so right. It's such a good tip. Right. So I then it's in her fucking court. Balls in her court. Right. So this she can girl's take it or leave it. It's like you, getting how, a $2 scratch ticket. Or if you're high, you, it's like a $20 scratch ticket. Is it when you do it when she's by herself or what if she's with a friend? Like, it's you, okay if she's with a friend. If that's all you're doing and you that's the like most important part is that you have to get in and get out. Then it's okay if you're it's in front of her friends. It's even a little it's, hotter if right. it's in front if of it, your it's her friends. It's hotter. I know. If you pull it off, and I mean like, say it and leave, but say it. Right. So don't be like, you're mm, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do if she replies Got right him. away? What do you mean? Then you wait, bitch. And if she comes, she comes. And if she doesn't, well, she doesn't. So I said it. Walked away. And that was it. She, I know. she looked at me with like confused face. Oh. <laughs> Did she have like a hearing aid? <laughs> no. Oh. And then this other kid goes up to her, starts talking to her. A comedian friend. Who? James Punto. Oh. You're losing <laughs> pussy to Puntillo? He ends up, fi- I was like, hey, did you find out like what happened about me? And he's like, yeah, she said she didn't hear you. I'm like, oh. That's what, I mean, that's what we just went over. <laughs> you, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. Do you yeah, understand? That's, yeah, yeah. That's so next time you do it, how are you going to do it? Hey, I think you're pretty. In her ear. No, no, no. You're not listening. In her ear? This is your first line? What Get away say? from her ear. What do you say? You just, you just stand it. and deliver it. Just be like, and mean it. Just be like, hey, I just think you're really pretty. Okay. And then walk away. You can be like, I'm Jared. I guess you can say, I'm Jared. Jared. Hey, I think you're really pretty. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just have to say when I'm sitting next to you. (laughs) I was just going to like fucking dunk on myself so hard. I'm like, you have to mean you're a pretty girl. Uh, there has to be like, glad I got it out. There has to be a pretty girl in this situation. See, yeah, I don't want you to practice on me. Those make me nauseous. But <coughs> uh, no, that's why the first time I can really say it. So don't say it in her ear. Say it straight forward. Do not. The first time that's you weird. speak that's to weird. another person, you're gonna pop their personal well, bubble. Well, if it's loud, if it's in a loud bar. Mm, I still think you need permission to engage that close. Yeah, you're right. Like in sure. an eye contact way. Like if he's like, if, you know what I mean? I'm like, and then she like gives you the her ear. Do you I hear what I, what did I just say? Repeat it back. Repeat it. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. They're going to knock on my door and be like, are you getting hit? Are you being suffocated? I hate him. You should have permission if you're going to be that close to her ear. Right. Like, like re- reenact what I'm looking for in that moment socially. Give me, give Make a gesture with your face or whatever yourself that you want to talk in my ear. Hey. Okay, good. Really good. Very good. Cool. And I'd be like, sure. <laughs> I mean, not like uh, hypothetically. Well, the reason I got to go into the ears because I mumble and so. Uh, well, I know. The, well, the other thing clearly. is then we're really rolling the dice and we're about to spit on a stranger. <laughs> 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 if, we're, if we're Jared. So, I know, but, well, that was my first time ever doing that. And so next time, I know. And uh, I'm going to get over, you know, I, I, I retired the hoop I think you can, line. like, put, like, like people. Did you hear that? No, what was it? I officially retired the hoop earrings line. Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that line. Some people say otherwise. Give it a rest and maybe pull it out in a year Your or two. Your friend, what, Ashley Hamilton and Claire Parker said, I got to get rid of it. Well, those are two fucking skinny white cunts who I like. <laughs> <laughs> who I enjoy. I enjoy their work. and um, They're doing good by telling me that. I'm not saying that. I don't mind that joke. I, you don't say it around me that much. But, I mean, yeah, if you want to give it a rest, then come back. Yeah. I think. And I was about to say something so good. <sighs> Fuck, my bad. What were we talking about before you made me back up? The new line I'm going to implement into my picking girls up. You're pretty. Oh, I think people really underestimate the handshake. 
you can have like a really like sensual meaningful handshake you know what i mean if you like mm-hmm. really concentrate and like take a minute and i don't mean like hold on to somebody's hand for too long okay yeah but and just like a warm firm like eye contact be like i just think you're so beautiful ah i would love that and a guy walked away i'd be like ah, well, what if he's ah. ugly i'd be like arrest this man <laughs> he's drunk <laughs> <laughs> why does he think he can talk to me that's funny <clears throat> but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to the future of uh, that new line in my playbook. Your playbook that like kind of refers more to like sports. Yeah, I couldn't think of uh, Maybe in your my repertoire. arsenal. Arsenal. Yo, yeah. I fucking skipped French all week. I'm such a douche. Oh, douche. I just got really. Was that French or no? Isn't douche like a French word? Yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. Let's give Pat a word to spell in French. Oh my God! Great, good job. It's cargo. O T. Yeah. It's fire. It's na- oh shellfish. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, a snow- it's a shell creature. Can it you is, have it though? It is a. It's not a fish though. So what you can it? have it. It's a crustacean. Oh, I want it. Spell aphrodisiac. That's the word we should have given. <laughs> Wait, can you have it though? I think so. I can't shell fish. That's what you said. It lives in a shell. I know. It's a it's a periwink or like it's a crustacean, right? Don't look it up or anything. Just stay relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> So what'd you do for Chappelle, Chappelle's birthday this week? I blew him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I went golfing twice Jared, this week. Jared try goes, to uh, shame. <laughs> I try to uh, clear my head. Jared, your head's empty. All right, let me tell you something. <laughs> your head is clear. It's not full of any thoughts or anything good. <laughs> the only thing in your head is, what can Jared get for no work? What can I get for nothing? What do you what do you have for us, Pat? Slugs and snails are more closely related to octopus than insects. Shut the fuck yeah, up. That's crazy. Octopi. What octopi what sound can a can a snail live in the water? Periwinkles do live in the water. Snails but then I but then snails I think are in water. So you probably sound. can't have it. Octopus is great. Love me some octopus. Grilled octopus when mm. done correctly. Have we had grilled octopus? Delicious. Doesn't matter. We Tonight we are, no, because we, we maybe oh go yeah, to the taco joint. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that taco joint, and then get some ice cream. That's the only reason why I'm driving you. I'm kicking off the show, so like maybe I'll eat the oh, tacos you're off? after. Oh yeah, we can do that. What and time? then I'm gonna go to my. Where's your? Oh, you go Ludlow's house in in the East Village. Yeah. Oh, or am good. I at the so- I'm going downtown too. Oh wait, I'm, or I'm at the Soho house. Oh, that's probably more exclusive. But still, that's in the East Village too. <coughs> Are you on your phone while we're about to close out the show? Like, you can't check this out. I don't know. I just feel like for 98% of the show, I carried it. Um, I mean, again. it is, again, only Feehan's with Karen Feehan. I think I'm working on being more respectable. And, you know, I just want people to respect me now. And being like, I think I have humility. I think I have shame. But then people are like, hey, Jared, you don't. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I want you to believe in yourself, but I want your act to speak for itself. I want people to be like, he killed, he killed, he killed, he killed, he killed, he killed. Did they have to say Not that? he asked, he asked, he asked, he asked, he asked, he asked. So it's like there's a balance to be found. Right. Right. I just like never really ask for stuff because I just assume people don't like me. Right. But I was talking to Ashley Hesseltine. Hesseltine. Fucking edit that. <laughs> Girls Gotta Eat is huge. They'll ruin me. Let's get her on. <clears throat> we'll talk. She's coming over tomorrow. Pool? Her and Adele. Oh, maybe I, I, might, I, might, I might have to come. Hot ass is in my pool. Adele would probably be very upset if I showed up. Do you have to go out? Do you have to go out? Do you have to go out? We'll go out in a minute. Do you have to go out? We'll go out in a minute. Ernest, get your leash. Get your leash. Get your leash. Get your le- 
I wish he would do it so bad one day. I wish one day he'd be like, here it is. Here's where you <laughs> left it. Put it on me. All right. Um, catch us at the stand. Follow us on our social. Subscribe to YouTube. Check out the Patreon. Leave a rating, please. We didn't, haven't done any of my... Um, message requests? Should we... Should we uh, Close it out with some couple message requests? Should we how have those been? <laughs> Is that how you got your latest guy? I don't have a guy. I'm so lonely. You only got one guy showing you attention? Yeah. But you're showing two other guys attention? Listen, the odds haven't been this bad ever before. I'm not used What's to up? it. What's up? We're both in a slump. Somebody said, do we ever come to Boston? Yeah. When are we going? Um, Karen? I'm trying to... Uh-oh. What? A little creepy message request. Smoking hot as usual. See you Thursday night at the stand-up show, which is tonight. So if Karen's not on this podcast next week. Shut up. I hate those jokes. Yeah, that was that was really. I know oh, you'll protect should we? Me. I know you'll protect Should me. we unblur this image? Mm, yeah. Oh, it doesn't seem bad. Oh, it's a great challenge. Oh, yeah, it's pretty safe. Americans not getting the vaccine. Also Americans. Great challenge. Oh, somebody yeah. c- somebody said you had a nice set tonight. Psych. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. Hey, you're great. Wondering where I can see more of you now that OnlyFans is going down. This guy's in, he's on top of things, so that's good to know. That's one quality. But is it a good quality? Also, it might just be me. That's a great start to a sentence. Oh, no. It might just be me, but I really enjoy your conversations with other people. Oh, he loves this. He's going to love this even more. I mean, I enjoy your stand-up, but the couch conversations, I don't know. They make me chuckle out loud, and I'm super mellow. Jared. Quiet type of guy, so keep that up. Jared. Thanks for – this is a compliment towards me. When did you write this? <laughs> <laughs> do you do other podcasts on couch? No, not on couch. Not on couch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do, vid- you do other videos on couch. <laughs> <laughs> not really. That was a joke. Oh. He passed away. Oh, here's a joke. Hey, did you hear about the Italian chef who died? He passed away. (laughs) Karen, you should hit these people up. I should hit them up? The message request to do business. Oh. If I haven't responded, don't worry. I've done research. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Thanks for listening, you guys. What's that? They want to feature you on your sexy page of ladies. Oh, yeah. (laughs) They think you're sexy. (laughs) Thanks for listening, you guys. Uh Uh-oh. I love this one. This guy just calls me uh, F-A-G for a lot of times. Yeah. I would say 10% of my inbox is just charity. (laughs) No more of him, please. The kid Jared is a F. He starred the rest of the... He starred the rest of the word. I can't even... I guess get rid of him. He's not funny. And then another one. He's not funny. Get rid of him. Jared, the kid is a. Oh my gosh. Jared. Can't watch anything with Jared. Jared. This guy don't like me. When did you write these? <laughs> the best would be if like he's following me, but he's not. He's not following. Me. I wonder. Uh, that's you, you know got, who that you, is, Jared. Chloe. Dude, the follows I get of fucking men that just r- reek of. That's where I would add descriptions of bad words. Thanks for listening, you guys. Please come out and continue to support live comedy like you guys always do. Thank you for having me on. You're the best. I appreciate it. Next week, we'll have a guest. It's only only she is.